Hello my friends, welcome to today's video. I'm Jeanette with People Vintage Designs. In today's video we're going to be working with watercolor and we're going to be creating this very simple and very beginner friendly painting. So before we get started, I want to show you how to create this type of leaf. Now I'm working on my etcher little watercolor pad here. This is 100% cotton watercolor paper, but to practice, use some inexpensive watercolor paper. And once you have the technique down, then you can work on better quality paper if you prefer. If you're a beginner, work with what you have. Now, I'll be using my Muno pan paints, and this is the perfect set for the beginner. It's not very expensive. I think I paid maybe less than $40 for this set and it has 48 different uh, colors um, in pans and it's got a great variety of colors so if you're just learning and you don't know how to mix colors this is a perfect set and i'll be working with my silver black velvet brushes again use whatever you have but make sure that it's a round brush with a nice point now to create these petals or rather these leaves we're going to pick up some green And when you start the painting, you can see that I have a variety of different greens here because I want each stem of leaves to stand out from the others. I don't want them to blend one into the other, so I did use a variety of colors. It just gives it more interest and more depth. If you use just one color, it'll look kind of flat. So, all right, let's start painting these petals. Oh my gosh, leaves. So to create these leaves, and this is a technique that you'll use to create many different types of leaves and flowers as well. So it's important that you learn this and that you practice it. Take a sheet of watercolor paper and just fill it with these leaves in different widths. And I'll show you what I mean in just a moment. So to start, you're going to, let's say this is our stem here, okay? You're going to start with the tip of your brush. You're going to put it down, pull it across the paper a little bit, and then add a little bit of pressure. You can see my brush flattening. And then you're going to come back up to the point of the brush. So let's do that again. Starting with the tip of the brush, pull it across, add a little bit of pressure, and then lift back to the point. tip of the brush, a little bit of pressure, and lift to the point of the brush again. And then you can angle it in a different way because you don't want all your leaves to be going in the same direction. So let's try that again. Tip of the brush, a little bit of pressure, and then lift to the tip. Now to show you what I mean, of how you'll be using this technique to create all types of leaves. I'm going to switch oops, to a larger brush. I'm going to pick up some paint. And let's pretend that we're, um, want, we want to create a flower petal. Not petal, leaf. <laughs> so you're going to start with the tip of the brush. You're going to push down and then lift back to the tip. And you can see there you have a petal. If you want to make it broader, start again with the tip of the brush, push down, and then come back to the point. And there you have a broader leaf. Now to create flowers, just to show you that you will also use this technique for creating flowers and petals, depending on the type of flower that you want to create. Let me show you what I mean. Let me pick up a little bit of red here. Make that my center. I'm gonna clean off my brush and my dirty water. <laughs> And you're going to start from the center, starting with the tip, 
add a little pressure and lift to the point again. Let me move this palette out of the way. Tip, pressure, release. Tip, pressure, release. And you can see how you can create some pretty little petals. At least I didn't call them leaves this time. By using this technique and again if you want to make them wider or broader get a little bit of water on here start with the tip push down come back to the tip and then come on the other side and do the same thing and there you go all right so now for the video, I'm just going to play some music now that I've showed you, shown you how to create these leaves. And I'm going to play some music and let you watch. Let me know if you have any questions regarding any of the techniques or products you see me use in this video. And I'm going to thank you now so much for watching. Be sure to stick around until the end of the video so that you can see this painting completed without all the studio lights on it, which kind of dull the colors. So I always try to post a picture of the finished painting in natural light so that you can see the actual colors um, better. All right, everyone. Thank you. And I will see you in the next video. I hope you enjoy this. Bye. All right, so now that you know how to create these leaves, let's get started with our painting. But first, I'll remind you that all the products used are listed in the description box just below the video. Click on Show More or the arrow pointing down if you don't see the list, and it will expand. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your interaction is very helpful to my channel, and it's a wonderful way to show your support, and I greatly appreciate it. All right, I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one.